You're listening to Haunted Hour, real ghost stories from real people. Hey everyone, welcome to Haunted Hour Live. Yeah, welcome to Haunted Hour. <laughs> Sorry, sorry. I just have to do that. <laughs> well, uh, I'm Indra Sahib. And I'm Noel Boyd. Yeah. How's your weekend, bro? Um, you know, not weekend. How's your week? Sorry. How's your week? <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, 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 the week was fine. Mm. Uh, very busy. Like, so much going on. Wow. So, I'm, I'm happy. Really happy to be here. It's something I look forward to every Friday. I look forward to not seeing you every Friday. What? <laughs> no, like, I'm just pulling your leg, like, actually. Okay, on can, live, on live, on not live TV, on live social media. Yeah, you can, you can pull something else after the show. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> That's quite explicit, okay? I we know have, we have we have families watching, okay? Yeah, I didn't say what what. Yeah, I also, I also, yeah. I'm just I'm just reminding the perimeter of this show. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, well, man. Uh, uh, we, we want to shout out our, our sponsors. Oh yes, yeah. Uh, we need to give a shout out to Get Alive Seafood. Uh, these guys are really awesome. They deliver every Saturday. Mm. So if you love stuff like mud crabs and lobsters and asari clams and also tiger prawns, the works lah. Yeah, they have yeah. it right. They even have gong gong, which I love so much. Mm. Um, all you have to do is visit the website is getalivesafood.com or visit their social media pages. Uh, they're on Facebook and they're also on Instagram. Mm, nice. Yes. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> we actually rush to get our like uh, headsets on and, yeah. and the mic on and all. Yeah. I think uh, uh, one of the our episode, right? I think we should showcase uh, behind the scenes of our life. No, no, week. no, no. So they, they they will know how uh, how uh, rushy or how uh, rushing uh, both of us rushy yeah uh? rushy yeah uh? rushy. <laughs> <laughs> it's a new word uh. Yeah. Uh, We we have uh, got a guest in the studio. Mm. He's a gentle giant man. And, wow. Uh, uh, when I first met him, I I was a little afraid because okay. he's so he's so big in size. Is he is he big big show? No, <laughs> from WWE. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it could be. Yeah, uh, and his name is Sharif. Yay! Yes. Hi, hi, hi. Hello, yes. hello, welcome, hello, yes. Sharif. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you for inviting me. Thank you, thank you. Yes. <laughs> wow. So, how has your week been, Sharif? Well, my week. Okay, I do a lot of uh, food blogging and also mm. a lot of things. So, uh, okay, a bit coma lah. <laughs> a bit coma. <laughs> Well, that's a good thing. Um, okay, what's the the latest food that you have reviewed? Oh, okay, uh, just to, uh, just now only like few hours. I eat one popia at the mm. Sembawang there. Yeah, Sembawang mm. Crescent. Wow, how and good? How good is it? It's really good. Really, right? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> like like share share love love. <laughs> like like share share love love. No, you gotta tell us a bit more about this uh, amazing popia that you had. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Oh, okay. Come on, man. You're, okay, you're uh, a food actually, critic, right? at, uh, yeah. Actually, we at uh, is at Sembawang there, uh, mm. block three six one there. Okay, they call it the uh, what? Nuru Ain, yeah, something like this. Because she's not Singaporean, she's mm. a Vietnamese, mm. but she's a Muslim. Mm. Okay. So, uh, one hundred percent Muslim owned. So ah. they do the popia. Then the husband is doing the rojak thing. Okay. Yeah, mm. it's, it was quite amazed like it was quite nice in, in, in the the important the popia actually the skin and the mangkwang you know the oh the inside, inside yes, yes correct mm. so it's quite nice and, and the, the chili. chili yes and the, the chili, chili plays a part no bro yes yeah. Yeah. chili always plays a part right, okay, right? for popia okay, maybe for popia right maybe can you enlighten us uh, is it better to eat with a, a diluted chili or a concentrated chili Wow, <laughs> no one asked you this before, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, actually, it's better to. It's actually like uh, diluted chili is much better. Yeah. Ah, diluted chili. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Then things come out from you also with diluted, bro. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think a few moments later, uh, then you go a to the A few dilution. moments later. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. So somebody asked me this the other day, and I thought like I will ask on the show. Mm. Right. This got nothing to do with the paranormal. Mm-hmm. Um. The COVID vaccine that's out. Would you guys take it? Wow. Yeah. How? I don't know. Probably we let uh, both of you answer first, ah. Huh? <laughs> What about you, Sharif? Uh, no, I'm not gonna take. Okay. Mm. Why? Uh, 
Uh, you... It's a very long story, so okay. I'm not gonna think. Mm. Okay. Because I know the 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 what inside lah. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. So okay. we 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 don't want to get caught in, for in, in, fake news or we whatever. We don't want to go into great detail. Yeah. Yes, correct, correct, correct. So uh, any anyway, okay, those of you out there want to take vaccine, just carry on. So uh, like like share share. Lah, Because lah. at the end of the day, Noel, right? Yes. Uh, there's a lot of speculation out there. So yes. it, it may be right or it may be wrong. Okay, right. so we just wait for our uh, authorities to give a more, a more of a confirmation on that part. <laughs> Am I to say that or not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you can. No, uh, because I think because I know who you work for. No, that, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not, I'm not going to mention it on air. Okay, because right, it's it's no there's no point for us to debate yeah. right uh, whether to take or not to take right. But yeah, we can have our views. Mm-hmm. But the thing is. Uh, this thing is very, is 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 go back to your individual uh, uh, requirement, right? If you think this is necessary, right? Then by all means take. What a bloody long story! Yeah, uh, <laughs> I'm just asking yes or no. Will you take? Will you not take? I I wouldn't um, take. Why? I I cannot say because I yeah. want to get the trouble. But, <laughs> yeah, same. But yeah, ask uh, me, ask me, ask me. No, nobody cares. <laughs> 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 Okay. Yes. Quick, quick, quickly. Yes or no? Okay. Yes. Wow. Wow. Mm. Like I said, I know who you work for. Yeah. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> no comment. No comment. Ah. I have to be neutral, bro. I have to be neutral. Right. Okay. Let's yeah. go. Let's go. Let's right. go on to the show, bro. All right, guys. If um, your your index finger is free, or your pinky, mm. or your thumb, or any one of your fingers, yes, or you can use your toes as well. Please share this post. Yeah. No, no, not oh, yet. Not yet. Okay. The <laughs> post. Finish <Penisto. laughs> yeah. Right. Just mm. share this post so we can uh, reach out to more people. Yeah. Um, okay. Now that's when you can raise your index yeah. finger. Uh, for we those, got something called buy us coffee. Yeah. For yeah. those of you who appreciate our content week in week out, you appreciate our effort on this uh, haunted hour podcast. Please do buy us a coffee. Right at www.buymeacoffee.com slash gfs tv. I, I noticed you said www is not. Sorry. Not WWW. Oh, sorry. I, I, I'm, I'm about to say WWE. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> so far, we had 26 people. Wow. Uh, awesome supporters that bought wow. us coffee. Thank you so yeah. much. So, the, the amount now is 72. Mm. Uh, two days ago, this person bought us six coffees and this person said, and I shared this on the GFS uh, Facebook page. Mm. This person said, Hi guys, you're doing good work. Most of all, I admire your perseverance to build a business. Please keep it up. Mm. I'm sure you will. I'm sure you inspire many people like me who are following you. Wow. We haven't met yet, but I'm a friend of friends of yours. Hope to meet you in person one day. Wow, so touching, man. Yeah, and just a short while ago, Chris Ho bought us eight coffees, and you know she's just been a fabulous, fabulous wow. supporter. Yeah, thank you, Chris. Thank you so much. Wow. Yeah, man. So. Um, I yeah, we we've got amazing supporters and um, Gabe. What Gabe? How yeah. how, how do you feel? Because you 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 are the core of GFS. You are the yeah. core of this haunted our podcast. How do you feel? Right, our fans, our supporters, out there, viewers, listeners are giving their immense supports towards you. Um, yeah, you know it's it's been amazing. Mm. Um, it's uh. It's a humbling experience, mm. yeah. And any time when I meet people in public, or yeah. you know, when they support the show in whatever way, it doesn't have to be buying us coffees, but like you know, sharing the posts and uh, our posts and just supporting us, right? Yeah, mm. it's it's amazing. You know, it's been a, a journey, lots of ups and downs. Yeah, um, many many downs, mm. but yeah. Who cares about the downs, man? It's all about the ups and and the ups. Uh, just the positives. Uh, It's always amazing. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Noel. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, okay. Uh, I'm supposed to... My script here <laughs> yep. by Ali Anwar says that I have to remind the audience about the Q&A that's going to come up later. Yeah. So yeah, any questions for the three of us, all you have to do is to keep it in your brain. Don't don't put it yet, okay? Mm. Uh, don't leave a comment yet. Uh, we will let you know when. Mm. And I'm also supposed to plug my book that is available at all national libraries across Singapore. So yeah, yeah, the nearest library near you lah. Mm. Which is the nearest library to you? Yeah, Sengkang. Sengkang. Ah, nice. Sengkang Library. Ah. Yeah, Sengkang. Even wow. Geylang East. 
also have library. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah. So maybe you can go to both and ah, then you, you you borrow the same book. <laughs> <laughs> That's weird, right? Just, That's just really so these weird people know that, that the book is in demand. <laughs> <laughs> Do that, okay? If there's a library near your house, go and borrow my book. Don't have to read it. Don't don't bother. Just just loan the book and then return it. Yeah. So other people can do the same thing. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. It's time for terrifying trivia. Yeah. And this time we're going local. Mm. I'm going to try to to do all of them local. Okay. Mm. This is the Matilda House. Uh, the Matilda House is also called the White House. It's one of the oldest houses in Singapore, and it's located at Punggol Walk in Punggol, and it's very close to the Su Tek LRT station. Now it was built in 1902, and it belonged to. Alexander Cashin, whose family history in Singapore can be traced back to the early 1840s. It has entrances on two sides of the main building, an open balcony at the front, and also a long veranda. Now, the house was completed in 1902, and this man built it for his wife. And um, it was a single-story tropical-style bungalow with four bedrooms and seven quarters attached. Wow. And the house also had a large garden with coconut and various kinds of fruit Trees and also it had a horse stable, tennis courts, and it was located near a small fishing village. Mm. In 1985, the government acquired one million meters square of land in Punggol, and this included the Matilda Estate. Now, as many of you know, that the um, there's been a lot of rumors about this house that they couldn't demolish the house. Right? right. They kept trying and trying and trying, mm -mm. and they. Couldn't do it. Mm. I personally know of cults that used to practice their practices there, satanic mm. rituals in this house. Mm. You know, and uh, they told me about it. I remember going there in 1997. Um, I was in sec secondary five, I think. Mm -mm. Okay. And we walked in, and I saw the pentagram on the floor, and I saw like uh, dried blood, and then there was a noose. You know, so were there I, fires? I, were there fires like campfire? In no, no, uh? no, no. Oh, candles. Uh, <laughs> So animals okay. were sacrificed there, and, okay. and and as always, you know. So if you you don't just look at the Matilda house because once they couldn't use the Matilda house anymore, mm. they started using uh, this other place near uh, Dempsey Hill, ah. right? Um, and they will open up um, these portals for for demons to to enter, you know. So wow, scary. So man. to say that this house was infested by demonic entities, yeah, I think that will be an <clears throat> understatement. Mm. Now. It says here that the Matilda House was given conservation by Singapore's Urban Redevelopment Authority mm -mm. on the 21st of February 2000. And so, um, they, they, what, what they've done is that mm. they have um, kept the house as it is and then they renovated it. I think you can show one of the, of the, the photos of yeah. Matilda House now. Yeah, mm. so this is the, uh, the clubhouse that's at A treasure, a treasure trove, yeah, mm -hmm. a treasure trove condominium, and it houses amenities such as function rooms and a gym for residents. I wonder how this place is. If you know somebody staying there, could you tag them and ask them whether is this clubhouse haunted? Because I mm -hmm. don't know, man. I think you would need to get a lot of mediums and bomos and whoever else to come and bless this place. <laughs> yeah. So that's my my Yo. trivia. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Matilda nice. House. Uh, have mm -hmm. you guys ever been there? No. Yeah. I've been there. Oh, when? Uh, because uh, when I'm staying in Singkang, right? Mm. So this place was in Punggol. Mm -hmm. So before they building up uh, the condo thing, I did went there. Okay. It was a bit uh, not say uh, not so scary lah. But then like uh, late night, uh, you can see someone at the window. I don't know whether you all know about this story. This really? is really yeah. yeah. Okay. There, there is the someone at the window. Do you do yeah. you see? Do, do, do you? It's saw? like a shadow, lah. Something uh, like a shadow. But actually, wow. it's really uh, it's really close. Okay. Because last time the LRT, the mm. soon that one is never never be open. Because if you go all the way straight down, it will be the Punggol end. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So so the one time I ever see, mm. but then they never disturb, lah. Just like a shadow thing. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Then, so so you've seen this yourself? Yeah. Wow. Mm. Wow. See, there's a reason why we brought you on the show. I had no exactly. idea that you've been to the Matilda House. <laughs> <laughs> Psychic, we are have you, psychic. Have you heard any stories about Melty the house? Um, I I don't know whether true or not true. Mm. Because sometimes I see nowadays they put trending on TikTok about this Mandela house. You okay. know, and someone was saying that mm. they see the light uh, on and off. But so far, I never see any about light off and on or so. I never see. There's, there's no current or so. So how do you want to on the light yeah. or so? Yeah, yeah but it has no now supply, though yeah. because now it, it is a clubhouse. Like, yeah. you know, people are, are using Visiting it. it. Yeah. yeah. 
patronizing mm. the the place lah. Yeah. Yes, yes. And also cannot go in anyhow because under condo. So yeah. if your ah, if unless passing, your ah. your guest is staying there, you mm. call as a visitor to stay. I mean to come. Uh, maybe you can see lah. Yeah. Mm. Um. Wow. Do you know anybody staying there? No. You? I I don't know, bro. I don't roll. I don't roll with the rich. Yeah. Uh. Ah. <laughs> No it lah. doesn't mean you're living in a condo. You're rich. I don't know. I, I have that. I have that perception now on that. Okay. <laughs> I lived in a condo before. I'm not yeah. rich. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know. Come on, man. <laughs> okay. Are we yes. are, are we ready to move on to our next? Uh, are, we, are we ready to move on to our next segment? <laughs> Which is real or fake? Yeah, it's yeah. a real or fake segment. <laughs> uh, and let's play the video, okay? Yeah. So this video is by this guy. Uh, he's got a YouTube channel called Tech Rex. So he conducted an experiment by dropping an iPhone 11 Pro down a super deep hot cauldron, and this hole is known as the Devil's Cauldron, right? So he wanted to see what's inside the steaming hot water. So the temperatures goes up to 93 degrees Celsius. Wow. And you wanted to see whether the iPhone would survive. Now it's rumored that you can sell yourself to the devil at this location, and you get anything you want in life. But of course, there's always a price to pay. When the iPhone dropped into the water by by this drone, it picked up some eerie, eerie sounds. So you guys got to listen to it. You were here screaming, you were here shouting. I just don't understand it. Here we go. Phone is in. You sound like dead man. And this is when the phone stopped working. Now this is the replay. When I first listened to this, right? Yeah. Uh, so my wife, um, she she found this, and then so she told me I I got to check this out. Yeah. And then when I when I first heard it, right, I had goosebumps because, um, and I didn't know anything about this guy, mm. right? But something in me just said that whatever this is, it, it's legit. Yeah. And then so I I went online. I went to his channel. So this guy's got millions and millions of followers. Mm-hmm. He doesn't do any paranormal work. Mm. All he does is you know he reviews. Gadgets and all, so he's got no reason to fake this because yeah. he's already got the followers, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, so when I listened to it and I and I and I did that over and over again, yeah, yeah, and then it just freaked me out. Wow. I, I I feel like if you would ask me, I would say this is hundred percent real. What does? What do you guys think? What about you, Sharif? Mm. For me, like uh, I ever heard about a story about the soul your devil. I mean, soul your soul to the devil. That is mm. true. Mm. That is number one true. Maybe like uh, because I heard the sound is like maybe they asked to go away because I can hear like it's like going away. Oh, is it? Go away. Oh, okay. If you like slow mo a bit, I mean, if you like slow mo the sound, maybe they say it's like go away. Yeah, right. Maybe they don't want to dis. They don't to get to be disturbed. Mm. Mm. Yeah, but okay. just now I heard when they replay, replay. Uh, yeah, like, grr, grr, something, something yeah. that kind of sound lah. Uh, because it's like, yes, a, yeah, it's like growling kind of yes, voice. Uh. Mm. Yes, correct. Yeah. Yes, but then, but I don't know whether that 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 the cave is it true or not true lah. But yeah. I know there is a certain place that which you you ask for soul your, uh, your devil. Mm. You know? Yeah, that is true. Mm. Yeah, you sell your soul to the devil. Mm. Yeah. What about you, Indra? What do you think? Okay, uh, as much as I see and I understand, right from the video with all the with all the background and history of that place, uh, yeah, he have that kind of a uh, realistic kind of uh, approach to that, but I think I still think right this video is fake. You're I'm not. I'm not saying this. this I'm not saying this just to oppose you or uh-huh. just to oppose anyone who believe this video is real. I'm. I'm just giving the allowance 
it, maybe maybe this video might be edited because mm. for me right when you drop a phone into a in, into a water right mm. into water okay yeah into into the water <clears throat> it has to be waterproof right. right but but most of our phones are like my water, my phone is or, or either water resistance yeah. right Then uh, the next thing is right. Usually for uh, production, like if you see like documentary about the seas or under, like uh, the ocean, when uh, when the production crew go into the deep seas, they can only record image. They mm. hardly can record. Uh, they have to use a specialized uh, recorder. Right. Right to to record whatever sound. Yeah. Because it, because it, the frequency works differently underwater. You see. Yeah, true. Mm. Frequency, okay. Mm. Yeah, but I, you know, I've used like um, a GoPro underwater. Yeah. And you know we can capture, uh, yeah. capture sound lah. Yeah, yeah, we can. You know, so I, I don't know, man. I like whatever I heard. Um, I don't know, like somehow because the growling sound is quite is very clear. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. very clear. Very clear. Very clear. And you don't hear you you don't hear any like splashing water sound like. Mm. <laughs> You don't hear that kind of sound <laughs> because even though you drop the water, also yeah. there's there's a water splash. You know, even yeah, though, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. There you go, Noel. All right, <laughs> I I just want to move on for this segment. <laughs> But the sound is like real, lah. Because I heard that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and 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 please don't don't get me wrong. I'm I'm just giving allowance. It may or it may not be real, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So just giving the allowance only. Right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Thanks. We not want to offend anyone out there. Okay, <laughs> I love you guys. <laughs> uh, uh, before we get on the interview with Shari, do you have anything hmm. that you want to read? Oh yeah, okay. Social media. Okay, let's go. Facebook, Facebook. All right. Okay, we have a lot of comments, right? Uh, okay, we have a, a comment from Ramona Sidik. Hi, hi guys. Hi, hi. Nice. Hey, Then we have a comment from uh, Zita. Um, Yay, hi, Zita. hi, Noel Boyd and everyone. Mm-hmm. Everyone is just saying hi, ah. Huh? Okay. Hi. Let's see if if there's anyone who comment about the real or fake. Uh, okay, there is. Okay, from John Paul Francis. Oh wait. Uh, sound of sorry, sound of hell. Mm. He said that sound maybe is a sound of hell. Yeah. Is it true? I I don't know. I I think so. I I think maybe it's it's a portal to to hell. I you know if these guys can can open portals in places like the Matilda House, mm-hmm. then I think that's possible as well. Well, scary man. Because I think uh, for them to open portals for the demons to enter, I mean that totally uh, shifted a lot of uh, different new uh, universe to 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 us, man. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I I. If you guys don't mind yeah. me sharing, okay. um, so we went to Istana Wood Nook. I think this was like the first time we we went there. Yeah. Uh, or was it the Halloween special? But okay, because we've been there twice. Yeah. So the second time that that I went, right? So I already knew that the the cults were using this place. Mm. I I gathered a few people that were in my team, mm-hmm. and then I played this uh, track that I found on YouTube. It was just spur of the moment. I told myself that I I want to do this. Yeah. So I played this track that I found. It mm. was um this ritual to open a demonic portal. Wow. Yeah. So I did that. Wow. And then um a lot of things went wrong, you know. Um like I I I know it's a it wasn't a good decision on my end. Mm. But then we could hear like chains being dragged around us. Oh, that's crazy, man. Yeah. And then yeah, there was this girl that was with us uh and then she started crying. But the, the, our cameras, everything broke down. At that point, right? Wow. Our cameras broke down. They didn't work. And I remember smashing one one cam of mine. It cost, I think, about like four grand. What trigger you? I don't know. I was just so angry with everyone. Maybe, yeah. Maybe. I smashed the, the, the cam and I said, you know what? Maybe um, that, that, that demonic entity have gone into you, man. Yeah, no, Over, because they, yeah. They, they have the ability to to change the the environment. and you Yeah, know, yeah. yeah. Mm. So I was just so angry and... Uh, Uh, yeah, it was just something I shouldn't have done. Mm. Yeah. Okay, I just want to open up this for discussion, right? Mm. Um, usually, people would associate uh, angelic, angelic entities mm-hmm. as being a character with pure bliss and calmness, right? Yeah. And people would associate demonic entities with rage and uh, anger and so on, all the yeah. negative. Is that true? Um. Yeah. I, 
it depends who you speak to. Mm. So, like with my work, yeah. I try to speak to everyone. I treat them as equals. So yeah, I've I've spoken to folks from from various cults, and then they tell me the opposite. They, they tell me that their their religion yeah. is very peaceful. Mm-mm. You know, um, whatever you read, whatever you hear, and all you see in movies, yeah. it, it's not true. Mm. But then you know, when you speak to folks on the other side of the fence, they go like, no, yeah. I see. Like, yeah, the, these demonic entities have have got a lot of power to change the energy to to ensure mm. the husband and wife fights. You know, like yeah, yeah, yeah. True. They always have the secret code, like which you don't know. Even the movie, so something you don't know. Something they have the secret code. So. What kind of secret code, Sharif? Yeah, we're talking about here. The like ghost lah, like what yeah. he says. Ah, sometimes mm. you see ghosts. Is sometimes we saw like they they hide a lot of secret code which you didn't know. Hmm. Okay. Is, is there is there any Code that you can uh, share with us, right? You know, for example, okay, for example, like, okay, uh, like uh, for the okay, mm. story, like okay, one one movie like yeah. Corinne, I mean the 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 what you know the nun, ah, okay, yeah. you see the yeah. nun, right? Yeah. yeah, okay, one of the nun, you can see certain part is like different, mm. certain part is like the bad, mm. but if I you see. see the bad one, is the different code, the bad one is a good one, huh? Oh, okay, how can it reflect in that manner, man? He mm. don't want to. Don't tell you the they don't want to reveal yes. much about it, lah. If mm. you really, if, because mm. for none, I know some people don't understand the story. You mm. must see like 10 times or 15 yeah. times, yeah. then you get the picture. Mm. Mm. So how many times have you watched the none? 25 times. <laughs> <laughs> He count, lah, bro. Oh my god. <laughs> You really, you literally, you literally count. Uh. Is there any like bookkeeping record that you can uh, prove to us that you watch 25 times? <laughs> I don't need bookkeeping, but I, because you know why? When first time when I watch, I do understand. Yeah, because yeah. it's like very slow. Then yeah. mm. after that, I didn't know who is this nun. How come she come to the picture? Mm. Then a while later, a while later, when I see, 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 uh, then only I get the picture. Oh, I see. Mm. Wow. Okay. Wow. Um. Wow. Yeah. I I I don't know. I think I watched the nun once, mm. and then. Yeah, I I mean it's by what's this guy's name? James Wan, is it? Yes, correct. Yeah, I mm. love I love James Wan. I, yeah. Okay, by the way, we have a comment uh, on the on the real or fake video. Yeah. Right. Uh, from Gina Neo. Uh, hey, th- Gina. That sound like me trying to talk underwater while I'm while I'm diving. Oh yes, but like bubble. Hello, Gina. <laughs> okay. Uh, We have a we have a comment here by At Atris Atris At Atris uh, I hope I, I I pronounce it right Atris yeah uh, Atris Atris Atris, Atris. Uh, Atris sorry uh, what Indra say do make sense it's too clear benefit of a doubt but for them to sacrifice an iPhone into that to capture that uh, is something yeah okay uh, I read up about that though the iPhone was sponsored yeah oh they they sponsored the yeah, phone yeah they, they sponsored wow. the phone. I guess they wanted to show that you know that it's durable, lah. Yeah, it's durable. Mm, yeah, good marketing, though. Yeah, do you have an iPhone? Ah, uh, no, I don't okay. own an iPhone. Now I was gonna gonna put it in a <laughs> hot pot. <laughs> um, we got a few people that just bought us coffees. Uh, hey. Our brother from Australia, Joe Dicotta, wow. just bought us a coffee. We have Thank got you, Joe. Lina C. She bought us a coffee, and also Thank you, Tila. Lina. And uh, Tila says, "Enjoy the kopi." Thank, Thank you, Tila. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. Um. Mm. A- any other comments you want to read before okay. we go on to I think, our uh, interview? That's about it on the comments. Okay. That's one more. Sorry. Uh, John Paul Francis. Evil can come in different forms. Yeah. True, John. I agree. Yeah. Well said, John. Hmm. And uh, Bukit. Uh, uh, there, there's a comment here. Uh, Bukit Gomba little guiling have ghosts. Yes. Yeah. 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 Correct. That we 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 have discussed about this. Uh, yeah. With two, uh, two episodes ago. Yeah. With hmm. Panji. Yep. Hmm. We are not on what app nine now, right? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Nine apps review. Wow. <sighs> I feel like vomiting. <laughs> <laughs> Literally speaking. Yeah. Uh, so, brother Sharif. Yeah. The golden question is. Uh-huh. Yeah. Look into this camera yeah. and you answer truthfully. Do you believe in ghosts? Well, uh, I can see. Last time I don't believe. But sometimes I believe. Sometimes, huh? Sometimes. Mm. Why sometimes? Because sometimes you cannot see in your eyes. It just like it just appeared in nowhere. Yeah. Yeah. So first, I first time I didn't believe lah because when I was young or that I don't believe in ghosts mm. because it's just like it's just like playing around. 
Uh, just like okay lah nothing Then a while later I see eh This is not the person lah uh, Maybe he's a ghost lah So from there I started to believe lah It depend. Maybe the ghost want to say hi to you or what But normally hmm. I know ghosts they did not disturb you You Be- you don't disturb them uh, If you disturb them they, they disturb you But hmm. they, if you come in peace They do not disturb you They I just like, they, they just like uh, love to talk to you uh, That kind of thing Yeah, hmm. Which is true well, yeah. I, I mean I counter with lah Yeah um, and I find it interesting because you said that when you were a child, mm-hmm. you you didn't believe in ghosts, and yeah. a lot of children do, right? And then yes. they, therefore they get nightmares. So why is it that when you were a child you didn't believe? Okay, that? because why I say I don't believe uh, in child uh, because sometimes you know parents, okay, uh, they like to say, "Hey, don't worry, got ghosts. You better They're sleep. You better." You know, you they, 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 mm. they kind of make you so scared. But then uh, uh, I don't believe in that. Mm. But then when you your age is getting up, you know, when you're getting older, mm. then that's where you can see, like you can feel it, yeah. See, that means you can see. Shari? Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes I see, I wow. see ghosts. Yeah, like for example, I see the Amanda, like you know the Amanda house, yeah. right? I yeah. even saw the shadow. Yeah. The, Matilda, the Matilda, Matilda, ah, Matilda, Amanda, <laughs> Amanda, Amanda. I don't I, know who uh, yeah. Amanda. I don't know where's Amanda's <laughs> house. <laughs> but be careful of this guy. <laughs> yeah, no, they want, they want my another girlfriend. Ah, sorry, <laughs> <laughs> cannot review on the live show. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> Amanda, <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. So okay, I, going going back to seeing, right? Mm-hmm. When you say that. Uh, you are able to see mm-hmm. Okay In what kind of form That you normally see Yeah Okay Sometimes I see like a shadow You know okay. Sometimes shadow Okay yeah. Sometimes shadow Even though you take a bus hmm. Okay Sometimes you You know When you take late night bus Okay Like not the those Not the now bus uh, The those time bus Night know, rider like, Are you talking about night rider Yes Night hmm. rider You know hmm. uh, Night rider Like you got NR6 They got NR3, NR7 Yes yeah. And you know like, yeah. Sometimes when you take alone Yeah Sometimes you can feel There's someone behind you But then when you see uh, There's no one getting down Yeah hmm. Okay uh, Maybe for some Of our millennial Gen Z Listeners or viewers Right You might not know What is night rider Mm, don't yeah. they still have this? I don't know. No more already. Oh, yeah. Maybe you you, you might not know what is night rider. Okay, yeah. night rider buses, right? They actually uh, when you bought this bus, right? It's, it's usually like dark. When you enter the bu- the bus, right? They they were, the driver will purposely like off yeah. the back lights. Oh, yeah. Inside the bus, why? Uh, I think I'm, I'm not so sure why. I think because of night time, right? And somehow it's a bit expensive. It's like you paying four dollar. Yeah, for one right back. Yeah, la. one right. Back. Oh, okay. Mm. But there's there's multiple stops, uh, various stops. Uh. Yes. But it's kind of like uh, eerie. La. I agree with Charlie. Yes, correct. Yeah, okay. You have that eerie feeling there. Mm-hmm. Right, right. Yeah, wow. Which is true. Which is true. Sometimes I feel, eh, I talk about someone behind, you know, like you, you can see like a shadow. Mm-hmm. But then after that, I worry, I say, hey, there's nobody. <laughs> because, you know, because the light, they yeah. purposely close. I don't know why they got to close in the middle of the light, you know. Yeah. I mean, uh, only they're facing on the behind. And the front, the yeah. middle, they always uh, shut it off. Mm. Okay, don't don't you think, Sharif? Because back back in the old days, mm-hmm. right? Uh, our young our young days, yes, I would say, right? Days, yes, yes, glorious correct. days. Yeah. Uh, yes. Probably people will go out for for a night uh, uh, of fun, yes, right? Correct, they correct, might correct. go out for a drink yes. or two. Then they will take the night rider bus, <laughs> night rider bus, right, to go back home, yeah. right? Don't you think that due to that kind of drowsiness? Or do that kind of, uh, I would say you are intoxicated in a way, right? Don't you think that that kind of feeling add more uh, intensity for you to actually feel and sense this kind of entity uh, uh, entity presence? Sometimes also like what I see, uh, even <laughs> though people drunk also they can still feel also. Sometimes they talk like eh, they they are talking to somebody or what, but then yeah. Uh, sometimes okay. some, uh, someone will say hi to you lah. Yeah, I, sorry, I, I have to zoom to Noel. <laughs> I have to zoom to Noel. Noel is laughing and crying at the same time. Why, are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> He's a entity. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> typo, typo error, bro. Same but this one, this one, this one in the mouth. Typo, typo <laughs> error, but in the mouth. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, go, go, going back, going back to yeah. your so uh, explanation on that. Yeah, mm. because sometimes, yeah, because sometimes people would not see ghosts. I mean, I mean, it's if you, if, I mean, sometimes people, you know, some people are talented. They have six sense. They yeah, got, they got the six eyes, which they can see ghosts. Some yeah. they have. Mm. Some people have. Yeah, but I don't have lah. Too bad lah. Mm. If I have also good lah, I can talk to them. Hi, hello. Then can we can do blogging with them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Seriously, uh. what what was your very first experience with uh, the parent? normal like the very first one that you can that you can remember okay actually it was in my army time lah okay mm. army time is true because uh i i was in uh, lim chukang camp 
Okay. Lim Chu Kang Camp. Yeah, in you know for, the cemetery. For, for yeah, 4 SR. Yeah, I was in 4 SR. Okay. Yeah. When you wow. do the uh, you from there say, also? Okay, I I'm from the 12th mono. Oh, okay. I from the 4th mono. Wow. <laughs> Fist bump, bro. Yeah. Fist bump. <laughs> well, he's, the... he's my like, he's my senior lah. <laughs> Super senior. <laughs> really? Yeah. Fourth mono, bro. Um, what's your age? I'm 40. Okay. <laughs> okay. Damn it! I thought you'd be older than me. <laughs> so the oldest here. Okay. Lin Chu Kang Camp. Okay. Yes. Before be, before we get into Lin Chu Kang Camp. Yes. One uh, disclaimer. Yeah. Right. Lin Chu Kang Camp. Man, it's something that you all have to really look into. Yes. It's really yeah. scary and really spooky there. Okay. My two years experience there is no joke. Yeah. Right, right. Okay. Please, Sharif, go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Because mm. like what I see about Lin Chu Kang Camp. Okay. Where that time my age was like. Uh, 19 lah Okay yeah. So normally we will do Guard duty Yeah yeah, yeah. And One thing I like to do Guard duty You know why hmm. People don't like to do Guard duty So uh, they ask me Can you help me to do Guard duty I pay you money Okay lah I, I, I don't mind to take A volunteer Because yeah. they, they scared to uh, To To you know, prowling to, Yeah yeah hmm. To prowling So because there's a lot of people Fainted there they did not, uh. Yeah they did not Came back Yeah Huh? Okay. They did not came back. Like you know, we need to go prowling for two hours. Yeah. Yeah. They they just fainted. Then they walk in, walk in. So we need to activate to go and see them where they they are out. Oh, know. okay. To, like to search for them. Yes, where mm. they are. Uh, they clocking lah. Something like that. Yeah. Okay. They, they haven't been mm. there. Yeah. But okay. But what is your personal experience at that very camp, Sharif? Okay. Mm. This is true story. Mm. Okay. This is really happened to me. Mm. Okay. Me and my another buddy lah. Okay. Okay. So one time we are crawling. There's one uh, old building. They call it the six. 32 It's a very green color six building. 622. Yes. Ah, uh, uh, that one is never used, you know. That one is meant abandoned. to be for yes, abandoned, abandoned building, and sometimes yeah. reservists will do that. Yeah, yeah. So that's why we need to do the clocking. And our clocking is like uh, number 24. Uh, yeah, the, the, yeah, yeah, number 24. Like that, yes. Yeah. So when we go there, so my friend say want to go to the toilet. Mm. He cannot tahan already. So mm. no choice he use the toilet. Then a while later some uh, someone tap me. My friend ah, uh, hey, come let's go. Eh, okay lah, then we, we go, we go. Wow. He was still in the toilet. Huh. Wow. He was still like, yeah, someone was talking, eh, hey, alamak, we book out, we want to goose, yeah, you know. Eh. But you got, but when when he tap you, right, do you uh, see his face not? Yeah, I see his face. I never see like nothing because, you know why, in the dark, we cannot see it's anything because there's no uh, light. I think you know that, that yeah, place is, there's dark. no light at all. We it's only use the, dark, yeah. the L, uh, L torch yeah. to, to use that. Mm. So, after I was talking to him, then after, uh, I said, I got goosebumps. Can I, I remember that, 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 that scene. So, wow. you know what happened was that he mm. tapped me, Hmm. Yeah, well, I'm talking to you like, eh, when I go book out, so, uh, so let me continue your prowling. Yeah, lah. when I mm. when I tap, eh, where is he? Then I tell, oh, later he run, ah, he look, eh, hey, why you left me? I say, huh? Alamak. Huh. Wow. I say, I thought it was you, so tap me. Ah, uh, then after that, few moments later, I was fever for three days. <laughs> oh, oh, that that really give you a shock, ah, uh, bro. Yeah, because I was talking to you like normal, you know, like, eh, hey, gonna go. Then he like, I see why he so quiet. I said, yeah. never think of that way. Maybe he tired of you know, maybe walking, yeah. right? Yeah. So. Yeah. Uh, Yeah, I tell you later when I do the clocking, right? Mm. Hey, hey, you see, yeah. Then I see someone running. Hey, who is running? Hey, then I say, why are you running? Then someone is scolded me. Why you left me? I was like, okay. I see. Mm. Okay, that six two two, right? The building six two two, the right. abandoned building uh-huh. is really something, you no know, there. Uh, so that means I'm just I'm just trying to to recollect your your story here. Yeah. So, so that means your and your your friend and you and your friend enter yeah. the toilet of six two two. Yes, correct. So back then. 622 is still operating uh, that the toilet no the toilet. it's not operating oh, it's, it's still operating. abandoned but the toilet can still use oh uh, okay. but it's pitch dark lah yeah it's, you cannot yeah. see uh, that means yeah, you yeah, cannot yeah. see because it's there's totally no dark and, and also no, no, and no also that supply. while you're walking there there's no light that's why we need to use the L torch L torch yeah. yeah correct correct. it's scary man yeah scary so, man this happened and then he came running towards you hmm. um yeah. This this ghost thing that you saw, so it was only there. This entity was only there for like a few seconds. Yes, and then correct, correct, yeah. Mm. I was like never never concentrating on him because I was like talking. We walking straight, man. Yeah. Because we cannot see. It's it's dark also. Yeah. Wow. So that mm. we just whoa 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 whoa. After that, that's it. Hmm. Wow. Okay. That's um, where I. That's where I feel ah. Uh, yeah. Okay. That's why I get fever for three days. Wow. So when okay, when you when you are down with that that immense fever, right? Mm-hmm. For that. Three days. Do you dream anything? Do you feel no, no, anything? Nothing, nothing. Okay. I don't feel because like sometimes the post-traumatic experience people would have yeah they have kind of dreams, reoccurring you know? nightmares yeah, and, yeah. or or this entity will come visit you. Mm. But do you have any other experiences in this camp or was that the only one? 
Uh, they came then the other one was like previous was my friend uh, saying Bukit Piumai it was four years back okay four years back because I was doing uh, because I do blogging so I got to mm. meet him one of the place there lah, Bukit yeah. Piumai so he asked me to come up uh, to his place mm. so he was outside the you know the, the HDB uh, corridor, outside, corridor. Mm. then I said hey why are you waiting outside I said eh why is he not him sir? <laughs> hmm. it was very dark <laughs> <laughs> Look wow. like him, man. <laughs> wow. So after that, I go there. That he, that <laughs> I just go to his house. Hmm. I say, hey, why are you like sweating? I say, no, I thought it was you outside smoking because he's a smoker. So normally yeah. he will smoke outside the corridor, lah. Hmm. And I say, I saw someone like you. I say, oh, okay. So hmm. he knows, lah. They, they say there's someone smoking around his place. He so so know. Oh, oh, so he knows about it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, HDB but, areas I mean, for, I mean well, before we go mm. further right uh, HDB areas for some HDB estates it, it it has a history of all these haunted entities man yeah I, yeah. I mean you know you talk about suicide cases you talk about sudden deaths at home so yeah. sometimes you know these these entities do do loiter around yeah. Yeah. or you lost, could yeah. have a, a demonic entity that you know would take on the appearance of of somebody you know yeah yeah i mean we've, we've spoken about this before mm, true. whether it could be appearance or it could just be a voice you know Mm-mm. yeah but i mean it happens way too often mm. yeah but i you know earlier i was asking you um about do you have any other experiences in camp itself like or was that like the only that's the only one for me la, but yeah. then there's few of my camp colleague eh, mm. so they, there's a lot of disturbance something they went to the toilet Mm. And you know that uh, 4 a.m. There's someone inside the toilet showering, but then it's not one showering. Okay. Wow. Um. And what is is this camp called again? Uh, for Lim Chukang. Uh, Lim Chukang camp. Lim, Lim Chukang, Chukang camp. camp. Oh, camp two. I never yeah. knew we had a camp there. Yeah, because you know, right? Okay, if you see the cemetery, the Chinese cemetery, right like, along yeah. the road, there's this big road. Okay, then that is on your right hand side. It's right deep. That's where you can see mm. uh, a minor road leading yeah. inside to the camp, lah. Okay, and mm. and only the infantry is in this camp. Yes, uh, infantry, and then uh, we got fire SIB. Yeah, fire SIB, fire SIB also there. Okay. Mm. Mm. So good. okay, uh, uh, talking about Lim Chukang Camp, I think future episode we should make a special episode talking about Lim Chukang Camp, man. Yeah, I mean we can find someone that you know. Hey, uh, we are from Boy man. Yeah. Mm. We have a lot of we have tons of experience coming from there. Yeah, yeah. but. Okay, one of my friend, one of my friend. Okay, uh, in fact, my my uh, company mate during BMT, he witnessed because uh, they 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 have to like they have to do night duties, right? Yeah. yeah. So when they do when when he do his uh, prowling right at night, so when he enter enter fire SIB, you know fire SIB, right? So that place, right, is like one one big round for you to clock your 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 station. So when he go in half when when he's halfway through right, he saw a like a black vulture, you no, know? vulture, vulture, big. This is what he described, big vulture, like figure like that. But he 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 said that I I saw a bird, but the bird is like when when the bird is like in front of me, right? It's like same height as as them. Hmm. And this is not coming from one person. When you do prowling, you do. Two person, yeah, yeah, yeah. coming from pairs, yeah. two person, bro. Yeah, I heard about this, yeah. but then they say it's not voucher because for yeah. SRSA, for SRSA, actually the logo is an eagle. Eagle, yes, correct. Eagle. Mm. So one time they saw was they thought was eagle at night. At night, yeah, yeah. yeah that's eagle, why. There's eagle. a lot. There's a lot of people were saying was eagle, but they, yeah. but they didn't know was it's a voucher. But we heard this story was quite long also. Mm. Yeah, but then you know a voucher uh, wouldn't be like human size. Right, but this is big. Bro. Yeah, this exactly. Is like, this is this is what they said, lah. Yeah. Are you sure it's not an ostrich? I think big bird, bro. Got to see your sesame street. <laughs> yeah, but you know it's interesting because some people, yeah, right, and this is quite rare where uh, instead of seeing like ghosts, like how you would think ghosts are, they will yeah. see animals. Mm. You know, um, yeah, and I, I find that so so interesting. Like, why would a entity take on the yeah. the appearance Formal. of an animal? Mm. Talking about uh, animal, right? Uh, I I witness a lot of time in camp back my days in 4 SR. Uh, I witness uh, cobras. Okay. Yeah, I mean once a while, like in two or three months times, you know, you will, you will see pest buster clearing yeah. cobras. Yeah. Okay. There's cobras, bro. 
There yeah, is a cobra. Going around Obviously, the, what? Yeah. You know, because it, you're and in black, the area. Black cobra. Yeah, those are the uh, the, the black cobras. with the yellow one. I, I, I'm not I, I'm not so sure whether but I, I, what I saw is the black cobra right like, yeah okay well, that's quite scary you know why no lah if they come to your bunk yeah they, but you know snakes try to avoid human beings as much yeah, as possible correct, correct. yeah but you, when, when you talk about all this uh, entity uh, emulating into uh, an animal kind of form right yeah so maybe yeah you never know all this Uh, periodically, we 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 witness all these animals there, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm. We never know. Yeah, mm. you never know, man. It's quite scary, ah, bro. Ah, yeah. Well, to, to, those to, who those in that camp, ah, yeah. I mean, the, I mean, they see, then they know, lah. Yeah. So you full experience two and a half years there. Yeah. So how 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 is it like for you? Every time when you book into camp, uh, are you do, do you yeah, feel like only scared only can book what? out only on Saturday. <laughs> Saturday, yeah. Uh. Yeah, because it's uh stay in camp. Yeah, yeah, true. Yeah, yeah Monday to stay. Friday yeah, or Saturday. Yeah, so stay uh. in camp. Because actually I was uh from four uh four this one four mono. Then after hmm. that, uh one year later I have an injury, so they transfer me to QM branch. Oh, QM oh, okay. branch. That means HQ lah. HQ, HQ yeah. 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 HQ. But still, still the same camp lah. Still the same camp. Still, still the same yeah, camp. Yeah, yeah. Because if you see, uh, if you come in from the gate, right, okay. you can see the big one is actually the HQ. Mm. It's right inside. Uh, on your right is really the block A, block B, block yeah. C. Mm. Then the six, that one is on your left. Mm. Yeah. Wow. That was a great memory lah there. <laughs> mm. Um, what would you say is your most chilling experience ever? Like the the one that scared you the most. That scared me. Actually, the the army one lah. Mm. The no, army the, one because you know why? Because alongside your body, yeah. Yeah, mm. because it's along my body. Then after that, I thought he went toilet, so I thought he come out already. So because yeah. he tapped me, ma, mm. say come let's go. Okay, uh, uh, he never say let's go. No, he just tapped me. Okay, come. I just say come let's go because yeah. he never talk. Eh. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Ah, wow. uh, so he never talk. So he tapped, ma. Okay, come. So let's go. That's why I was talking like you know we are talking. Yeah. And then a while later, like. Uh, after that, I say, eh, why he never talk to me? And I tap, mm-hmm. I say, where is he? Then he was running. Eh. I say, why you left me? He said, the time I was scared. Or someone he, yeah. he also scared in, yeah. in that kind of place. So I was like, oh, okay. So that was because that was chilling. Because like, someone got I got fever mm. for three yeah. days. Yeah. Mm. Um, did you go see see a religious person? Uh, no, I never. No. Ah, that's no. interesting. Mm. So did your family know about this? Uh, no, no. Because oh, I, I, got, I, got, I got no parents, so I don't, I don't oh, share okay, my feelings. Yeah. Oh, oh I, I'm so sorry. No, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. Mm. I'm so sorry. It's I, so I, okay. I know that. It's okay. Yeah. yeah. I mean, uh, relating to back, back to the being, being down with a fever, right? Okay, I just want to open this for discussion. Yeah. Uh, you, man, many times we heard, right, stories of people uh, witnessing all these uh, entities. The next day they were down. They they will be down with a high fever. Mm-hmm. Yes, correct. What's the relation here? I mean, I mean I'm, I'm trying to understand. Yeah, yeah. Um, personally, that's happened to me before as well. Yeah. But for some people, I think maybe if your body goes through that kind of shock, yeah, right, then you might get a fever from me. I don't know. I got to speak to a doctor about this. Mm. Um, <laughs> but uh, I I've been to to certain areas, but I I can't find that link. You know, like. Is it because did I get a fever because of that, or is it because uh, the area is like really dirty? Not not mm. dirty in a spiritual sense, yeah. but just like you know a lot of dust and all because I got all these allergies, right? Yeah. But um, I've heard this so many times, man, of of people getting a very high fever mm. after an encounter with a ghost. So I see they could it could be because they zapped your energy because they do that, oh. right? They take the energy from you, or it could be like they. Are in you? They they could yeah. It could be like they are in in. in mm. They're using that person as a vessel. You know, there's there's I think many um, different this scenarios. Is, is right, you know, <clears throat> yeah. Do you think because okay, uh, talking about science, right? Uh, mm. I'm just quite interesting. Uh, I'm I'm just quite interested into understanding the science of this. Yeah. Do you think that all these entities like they operate in frequencies? Mm. So when 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 we enter their realm, right, it's a different frequency of our physical uh, form here. Yeah. And due to that kind of clash of frequencies, your body, your body, uh, uh, astrophysics or whatever, right, might react in that very weird manner. Yeah, yeah, I would think yeah. so, man. I, like I 
always said, you know, there's so many things that we don't understand. Like True. I'm always learning. Yeah. And then you know when you listen to to stories from people, their encounters, mm. right? Mm. Uh, and then you just learn something new. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But I I know if they can they can do stuff where they can push an object on on a table. Yeah, uh, and, and that's not something we can do with with our mind, you Correct. know. But they can do that, and mm. then that says a lot about their their abilities mm. or them being able to read your thoughts. Yeah, like your worst fears, they they know that, and then they manifest, and it becomes um, your worst fear. You know, your worst fears they would appear in front of you. Yeah, true. yeah. Mm. How? Wh- what do you think about this, Sharif? Yeah, yeah. Sometimes it's true, lah. Because sometimes maybe I get shocked. Let's yeah. say I get fever. You know, mm. like I maybe can't think about it. Oh my gosh, what 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 really happened? You know, like like you know when when you doing night duty, some more yeah. you're not enough sleep. It's a bit mm. lag. Yeah. Then after that you like thinking thinking too much, ah. Then mm. that's why maybe it you get fever. You, yeah, yeah. Mm. maybe you get uh like uh shock like that. You know. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Um. Oh. Have you ever? Um, encountered like a female entity. No, no. Ah, mm. Interesting. Okay. Very interesting. Talking about female and male entity, uh, I have this question that is bugging me right for quite some time. Mm-hmm. I just want to open up for a discussion here. Uh, why people love to mention that if you see a female entity, right, the female entity have greater power than the male entity. Mm, I I don't believe that. I I think it's no, I, I, equal I heard, powers. I I heard this many times. Really? Yeah. I I don't think there's any truth to it, right? Um, like, I mean, I I would want that to be true, like yeah. the whole uh women power and all. But mm. um, if you think about it, I I I don't see how you know they could be more powerful. Mm. I I I think that entities are just a manif- manifestation of of energy. Yeah. Yeah. I see. Okay, the reason why I I, I bring this up, right? Mm. Because if you see, okay, go, we have to relate our thoughts back to, and we have to visualize what we want to visualize here mm-hmm. back to Hollywood movies. They right. would always associate their entity forms or ghosts and encounters with female entities. Yeah, because I think they just look scarier, right? With the yeah, long correct. hair. Yeah, exactly. Right. If you have got a male. A male ghost. Yeah. How scary can you make it's this? It's not that appealing. Uh. Yeah. This yeah. male ghost. Mm. But with a, a female, there's so much more you can do. Mm. Whether you talk about shutter, whether you talk about um, uh, the ring, like the nun, yeah. the ring. Yeah. You yeah. know, like can you imagine a a male entity taking that place? Right? <laughs> Would it be as scary? I don't think so, man. Mm. Unless they use your face, Indra. Yeah, my face is quite scary, bro. <laughs> serious, serious. I scare. Yeah. I cannot say shit here. <laughs> Oops, you just <laughs> <laughs> no, la. no, but yeah, I, I, if I'm mm. gonna do a, a horror movie, yeah. right? My mm. main ghost, I would want to be a female. Female, because yeah. there's so much more I can do as as a as a director. Mm. Yeah, with the visual, with the because it has a more eerie kind of a presence. Yeah, a Pontiana would. Freak me out more than an orang minyak, right? Orang the minyak, oil yeah, man, yeah. right? Yeah, correct. Okay, going back to female, right? Mm-hmm. One one thing that is very uh, appealing about ha- having a female as a ghost, right, is the voice. Mm. When they squeal, when they shout, yeah. scream, or, or even when they whisper. Oh yeah, man. Yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. Correct. Okay. Uh, have we answered your question, Indra? No, it's a discussion. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, because of that, yeah. Sorry, 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 sorry. Sharif, you need to say something. Yeah, Sharif. Say anything you want. Give say, some inputs on yeah. this man. Say what? Do what? <laughs> say my name. Say, say my, my name. name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. Because like what? Okay, yeah. because like okay. Why? Maybe they say woman is more scary. Yeah. Sorry yeah. to say lah. I'm not offended to everybody because mm. maybe they. They wear makeup, they nice. After makeup, no nice lah. Okay. So that's why they get more scary and make more shock lah. Oh. <laughs> you get it. You yeah. get it. It's you a joke it. lah. Yeah. Okay, but yeah, man, not not yeah. say the facial features would scare <laughs> the hell of men lah, right? Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. the hair was even even though guy goes also is like normal. Only yeah. the most is black eyes. You know, the, the, I mean, they hear mm. the black. Mm-hmm. You know, if you saw every movie, it's just that they put black. If you see. 
woman is like I see most of the uh, sorry to say lah, like, mm. it's most most of the ghosts. I see they wear makeup yeah. and then out of the sudden one moment drag. I don't know oh. no makeup all you know. They say oh Dramatic, my god, very very. Yeah, they say oh lah, my is it this girl that I dating with or not with oh, <laughs> the girl yeah. that I dating with? <laughs> No, because just now our discussion, right? The core mm. of our discussion is: is a female entity more powerful, right, than yeah. a fi- than a male entity, right? That is, is uh, what's your take on that, Sharif? Actually, both is not powerful, lah. It depends how you scared with them. Oh, mm. is is how much they fit your fear, lah. Yes, correct. Ah, okay. Yeah, it makes some sense, uh, yeah? yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Correct. That's mm. the first thing you said today that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We have just been. Playing around all <laughs> night. <laughs> uh, uh, you want me to read the comments from uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, guys, questions? if you got mm. any questions, uh, now's the time for you to answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, not answer. It's time for you to <laughs> ask your questions in the comments, and then we will answer. Okay, let me let me sing that. <laughs> no, okay. Okay. I see. Uh, we have. in the mood to 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 sing today. Uh. Yeah, we got another person that bought us three coffees. Wow, uh, thank you. Probably you should conduct trail cam investigation in Pulau Ubin one night. Mm-hmm. Maybe you'll spot the Pontianak. It's by Chandan CJ. He bought us three coffees. Yeah. Wow, thank you. Pulau Ubin is special. I think one day we should do a a uh, an app, right? An episode just about Pulau Ubin. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Go. We, we have a question by uh, Rohaizat. Masling block 151 got a male ghost named Eric. Okay. Okay. How do you know that ghost have a name? Wow. Yeah, and how do you know his name is Eric? Yeah, like can you <laughs> tell us a bit <laughs> more Masling about this ghost? Yeah, I I hope uh, Rohaiza can uh, enlighten us uh, enlighten us on that. Uh. Yeah. Okay, uh, Kyle R- uh, Ravin. Okay. Oh, hey. He's a fantastic MC and uh, also wow. uh, an illusionist, yeah. He's hey, really, really good. I'm well, going to bring him on the show one day, man. Why not? Yeah. Hey, Noel, brother, and Indra plus Sharif. Hi. Who is Amanda? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my girlfriend, another house. Ah. <laughs> uh, that one we cannot disclose here. Lah, hey. eh, <laughs> Amanda, Amanda. You know, I know. Almost, ah. almost the same name. Lah, familiar name. Lah. <laughs> okay, we have uh, from uh, Areng. Areng. Ah. Oh, oh yeah, Areng. Hi. Hi. Ah. Hello, Vlad. Hello, hello. Uh, but when you come and summon them, right? That is where they will emerge and disturb you. Yeah, you know, right. So mm. whenever I used to do my my paranormal stuff, so yeah. you know, I did it for like more than 10 years. Mm. And every time, right, um, when we go and do something, mm. right? So I'm there like, alone with a camera, and I'm asking whatever that's there to come out. Yeah, uh, it never ever stops there because you're dis- I'm I'm disturbing them, right? Mm. So I'm asking them a lot of questions, asking them to to make contact, yeah. And then yeah, a lot of times they will follow me home, which oh. is why my my wife, my lovely wife, mm. doesn't allow no no not doesn't allow right disagree no like she doesn't encourage me like she feels that I shouldn't do field activities yeah. lah mm. yeah and also right because you know I have a daughter Mali yeah and then we just found out that we've got another one on the way oh. <laughs> Yeah, so like all the more reason to not go go something, but yeah. Yeah, I think that's also one of uh, it's, it's a valid reason, bro. Mm-hmm. Because we have to safeguard our family members first. Yeah, I mean, if 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 you are still young and oh, I am bachelor, still young, forever young. I'm, I'm gonna buy uh like nunchucks yeah. and bring it to the studio one day. <laughs> <laughs> Swing. <laughs> Okay, but okay, but if we are still young, right? Yeah. Uh, no, no, when we and uh, our bachelor's days, right? Definitely, we can do it. Of course, yeah. And not affect anyone. Yeah. Uh, in uh, from our household, yeah. but now we family, we small children, we little childrens, man, young children, man, we can we can't afford that, lah. Yeah. Yeah. There's there's like too much to lose, you know. Yeah. Yeah. True. So I gotta think like very carefully about mm. everything I do. 
Everything I do What oh, is the mood to sing? Yeah, I do it for you I wish I can, <laughs> mute, I can mute his mic But I cannot Because I'm not sitting In front of the big circle Okay, la, okay, la, okay I stop, I stop, I stop okay. I'm just here to entertain people <laughs> Entertaining yourself um, okay. What else, what else? Okay What do we have, what do we have? What do we have? Okay, let's questions, see Questions, any questions? Okay, uh, we have from John Paul Francis Okay mm. uh, Just pee outside lah Why wanna go in? Pitch black, what? Siaw lah your friend Oh I mean referring to oh, yeah, Your you, story Your yeah, friend that went to, Went to into the toilet, the toilet uh, yeah. very, At the very dark state lah hmm. Hmm. Okay and then he He commented again also I go I go in dark My pee also cannot Come out leh <laughs> Because they were urgent lah He really oh, urgent He okay, cannot see, tahan see. already <laughs> But okay From 6 to 2 right uh. it's, it's quite a Long walk back to the guard house Yes you know? correct Yeah mm. So I think Here's yeah. a fun fact I can pee anywhere man Not here Not here bro I'm warning you right now Okay Not in our studio Alright Yeah yeah <laughs> Alright <laughs> Okay uh, From Ahish Pandi Okay Oh this is a long comment man uh, I have this story to share with you all There was a time Where on Sunday book in This guy went back to camp And then they headed to sleep Shortly after, his bunkmate woke him up and asked him to follow him to the toilet. He said, okay, and they went to the toilet. However, when his friend went into the, out, the, to, to the cubicle toilet and he waited outside at the sink area in front of the mirror, yeah. he realized that his bunkmate was sick and did not report to camp. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Then when it started to sink in, the thing behind him said, you know already, right? Huh. Wow. And then he ran back to his bunk and then tried to shut his eyes and sleep. However, a few minutes later, the thing came to his bedside and asked, are you looking for me? Hmm. Really spooky wow. encounter. Wow. 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 From Ahish Pandi. Hey, thanks for sharing that, man. Yeah. Thank you, Ahish. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Thank you. Um, okay, I, I had this experience when I was with uh, the combat engineers in Jurong Camp. Yeah. yeah. So this one night uh, was this huge thunderstorm, right? So power went out like throughout the camp. So okay. we we are combat engineers, and then we had like the signalers on on the other side mm. of the camp, and then we had the school of combat engineers, we had the medics, right? So the electricity went out for the entire camp. So the the camp was in lockdown. Yeah. And then, um, so there's no fan, no nothing. It was bloody hot. And we were smoking in the bunk. Wow. And then I remember uh, them coming in to check like how many people are in each bunk. Okay, everybody's mm. accounted for. And then I I went out of the bunk and I, I was standing by the staircase. I was waiting for one of the the other specs to to come back up. Yeah. And then uh, this guy came out and he stood next to me and we started having this conversation. Okay. Uh, and then he was asking Some me, random guy. Yeah. yeah, yeah, random guy. But okay. Um, I, I've never seen him before So I thought he's Like new to The to, camp, to the camp. Mm. Um, And so we had a conversation He asked me Whether I know What's going on I said I have no bloody idea Okay All I know is that uh, The CEO was going to Come back to camp The OC and all that like, yeah. So we, we're just waiting Right mm. And then the conversation Went on And then after that He said that He, he has He has to To go. go and do something Okay Right so this is about Maybe 2 or 3 o'clock In the morning Wow uh, And so I'm there having this conversation. This uh, the COS, right? The the spec on UT uh, was walking by, and then he was asking me why. Why was I talking to myself? Huh? Yeah. Oh. Wow. Yeah. He was asking me whether I'm okay or not. You know, like because he thought I was on the phone, but he didn't see a phone with me. And yeah. then he was like, "Why are you talking to yourself, bro?" And I said, "No, I was talking to this guy." And then he looked at me, and then he, he just went downstairs. So the next day, yeah, I I caught hold of him, and then I asked him, you know, yeah. like. Didn't you see the guy that I was talking to? And he said, "No, there's there's no guy." And I said, "He oh, came from that bunk." Man. So we went to the bunk, yeah. and then we asked them, you know, like, "Hey, who's who's the new guy?" Yeah. And then they said, "There isn't a new guy," because that bunk I think had maybe like eight people sleeping in it, and all eight beds were taken. Occupied. Yeah. Wow. So I had no idea, but he he looked like a person, right? Yeah. He didn't mm. look like a ghost, okay, or or anything like that. He, he just was very pale. So I just thought it's somebody that doesn't like the sun. Okay, his yeah. his his facial features. Can you still remember? Um, he had very short hair. Um, all of us have a short hair during our media. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. 
uh, uh, white, uh, very fair, fair looking person. Yeah, or? very fair. He was wearing a, a singlet, okay. uh, white shorts, right? So back then, right, white shorts would be uh, yeah, like uh, an army officer. Or even the uh, the uh, trainer, uh, the PTI. Yeah, PTI, PTI right? Yeah, yeah. So I, I mean, I didn't even bother about that. Like, what he's yeah, what his role in the army, or you know, but it's just that we had this conversation, and then after that, I find out that he's non-existent. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, and and back then I was very afraid of ghosts. So then for a few nights, I couldn't sleep. I was like, when is this this, this fellow going to come and visit me again, you know? Wow. Yeah. It it freaked me out. But he never did lah, right after that. No, thank goodness. Yeah. But now now if he, if he comes, then yeah. Way, right. way interesting, man. To yeah. communicate. Yeah. Has he talked to you? Yeah. He did, he did. Yeah, yeah. He had, we had this conversation. like So like I said, he asked me what's going on. Mm. I said, I don't know, but you know, like the power is out. Mm-hmm. And then, but he said something to me that was interesting because... He said that there were that they're looking for for two people. Oh, yeah. See, so this is why he told me. That's oh, he mentioned them. No, no. He just said they are, they are looking for two people. Okay. Then so only the next day we found out that there was a a breach in the camp where prowlers right during this this thunderstorm. Yeah. Um. These prowlers saw two entities. Two, uh. No. No. Two people. Okay. In um in a camouflage uniform that they didn't recognize. So they saw them from a distance when they called them, mm. uh, and then these two things ran, right? Okay. Um, and the the surveillance cameras in the camp mm. didn't see these two yeah. individuals. So in in our minds, after that, it's like these two things that they saw were were mm. ghosts, because only later they realized it was like the old army uniform, yeah, wow. our old army uniform. So this entity that I was talking to. Mm. Like it really knew like that happened. Whether maybe that that fellow spot on man, spot yeah, on. Yeah, that, that yeah. fellow was one of those two ghosts. I don't know, man. Wow. Yeah, that's why I couldn't sleep for for days. Bloody wow. hell. Wow. I know how you feel. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow, amazing, man. Wow. I mean, yeah. last week you were talking about someone waving at you. You remember? Mm-hmm. Right. You I mean you always saw that person and that person waving at you. Yeah, yeah. And you get the, to know that person. Yeah, the, the fellow passed pass on. Pass on. Yeah, and and he looked wow. human. Yeah, like the guy. Mm. Yeah, in in, in the, the camp, in the Jurong camp. Yeah. yeah. Wow, amazing man. Yeah. Um, do we have any more? Okay. Me. Okay. Let's see. All right. Um. Okay. From Lina. From Lina. Yeah, Lina. Uh, in movies, I think the female ghost laughter is scarier. Lipstick can be more red. <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Um. We have. We have from John Kennedy. Okay. Uh, weak people more vengeful. What does he mean? Weak people more vengeful. Hmm. It could be that. Um. Actually, I'm not sure. Okay, be, because before that, okay, I I I pose a question. I I pose a comment. He said before, pen is more powerful than sword. Pen, uh, like a pen. Yeah, is more powerful than sword. Than a sword. Mm. Um, okay. Yeah, I I really don't know what you mean by that, yeah. uh, brother John. Probably you can elaborate further uh, on the comment section below. Okay, let, allow me to read up, uh, read up some more comments because we have a lot of comments today, yeah. right tonight. Uh, no, Arzmi. Hi, Indra. Long time never see you. Long time never see you too, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good, it's a good place to catch up, you know, on 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 this such platform. Yeah. Okay, Christopher Redfield. Are you guys using a green background? Yeah, uh, yeah. green screen technology, man. Yeah. One day we have an LED wall. <laughs> Yay! Okay, uh, Daniel yeah. Ali. Uh, hey Noel, have you done your ghost investigation at Perry Perry Primary School? That place is quite eerie. Um, uh, yeah, that place is quite eerie. But this school have left vacant since 1997. Is is this the one near Serangoon Gardens near the Japanese cemetery? I have no idea. Yeah. Because I'm just thinking of Perry Avenue. I, I'm not sure whether this is. Oh, right there is place. such road, uh, Perry Avenue. Yeah, but I, okay. I've done something at the Japanese cemetery mm. there. Mm. Yeah, but we we didn't bring our cameras and all. I just wanted to go and get a feel of the place at about I think two ish in the morning. Okay. But yeah, it's, it's, it's quite a lot of activity, man. 
a mm. lot. How do you identify if that place is eerie? Is through your gut feeling or yeah. just uh, it's, it's, the energy it's that you feel? It's always like, because all of us have this. Yeah. Right? You don't need like a ghost meter. Mm. Right? The K2 like, meter. Yeah, right? the K2 mm. or, or, or uh, the ghost meter, the spirit box, whatever, right? Yeah. I mean, I use it on the show because then I can prove to people. Yeah. Like whatever I feel, because if I tell them, oh, I feel this, then they go like, oh, the fellow's like. So yeah. if I have the meter, then you know. There's visual lah. Yeah. Mm. So so that's the the science part of it. Mm. But um, yeah. So we all have this. Like you, you have this instinct in you that will tell you, okay, this place is bad. Yeah. You got to get out of there. Mm. Yeah. And then we have to listen to it. When you don't listen to it, that's when you get into a lot of problems. Mm. Yeah. I see. Okay, we have a comment by Ram- Ramona Sidi. Congrats, hey, great news, Noel. Hey. Thank you, my dear. Thank you. <laughs> okay, from Aring again. Uh, one one of the story I heard before, way back on Channel Five program, the Incredible Tales. What is mm. that one story that you oh, heard yes, before? Oh yes, blood. I know, I know, I know what you mean. And this is uh, Rosaini. Oh, oh, Rosaini, <laughs> brother Rosaini. <laughs> yeah. So he's he so he's reminding you lah. Yeah, that, okay, that's what? one one of the story. Yeah, I know the incredible tale. Like I think he was referring for the three doors. I think the to- toilet thing also. What he was referring In, uh, about uh, army cam or yeah army cam about the army three cam door also. yeah. The three oh, door. Yeah, I, that one is at Pulau Tekong, if I'm not wrong. Oh, Pulau Tekong, don't say lah. Don't mention lah. Yeah, we should do something else about Pulau Tekong as yeah, well. Yeah, Pulau Tekong. Yeah. That what that what he was saying. I think yeah. That last time, in, last time I like that show. So uh, the incredible tale. Sometimes yeah. they show what is uh, real and what is not real. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I, there, there's another media cop show that's coming up that you will like. It's called History Mysteries. Yeah, yeah. History you, Mysteries. You know who's inside? He lah. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, that's why he promote. Okay, <laughs> okay uh, from Steph Sim. Okay, but female ghost scary. It depend if they have revenge or death or of hatred and death of hatred. Yeah, mm, true, true. Uh, yeah. Steph has been watching my content for longest time, so wow. it's nice to see you commenting here, Steph. Um, yeah, mm. I, I think it's how a person dies. Right, yeah. because you, you know you, we hear stories all the time, and uh, I've seen case files of uh, people committing suicide, and they they wear red Mm-mm. because the mindset is, yeah. or, or their knowledge is that if they wear red, then they can come back, and mm. and um, and get revenge. You know, like whoever yeah. they are unhappy with. Yeah, there's a song like "Lady in Red." Don't sing it. There. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. No, no but I okay. will come over there. <laughs> And strangle me. Okay, we have a comment here from uh, Yazid Ida. Okay, uh, the Jurong Camp Medical Center area was so eerie and scary before uh, it before ITI moved to Jurong Camp Two. Is it true? Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know. I was in Jurong Camp Two. Oh, Jurong Camp Two. Yeah. Okay. He he mentioned about Jurong Camp Medical Center. Okay. Wow. Um, not sure which one this is. I I remember. Uh, hmm. Because my camp didn't have its own medical center, so everybody shared, right? Okay. And it's a very long walk, so like you're sick, you have to walk. It's a, like at least uh, what maybe twenty minute walk to the medical oh, that's center. Lo- that's yeah, quite and then long, you go there, and then the, uh, the, the medical officer was a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> you can't say that, no well. <laughs> I know, I know, but there yeah, he was, he was. Oh, yeah, okay, like okay. everybody that went to him, I remember back in my yeah. time, right? He would take it as everybody is don't faking. king, ah, uh, yeah. king, uh, yeah. By the way, uh, for for our uh, listeners who don't know the term king, it means you are trying to malinger. Yeah, <laughs> malingering. Right. Cool. Okay, uh, Lina uh, mentioned here. Yes, Perry Primary School is the one near Japanese cemetery. Yeah, near Yo Chu Kang Road. Correct. Serangoon uh, Garden. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. So I that's see. the one. Yeah, yeah. I, I I've never been in because I don't want to be caught for trespassing. Mm. So even if I've been in that school, I would still say I have not been in there. Hmm. Okay. Ahish Pandi, uh, he asked a question here. Could you elaborate about the three door, please? Kind of curious. Sharif, oh yeah, yeah because mm. the I think if you see those time uh, in Kerala, I think they talk about the three door is about the toilet. I think there's yeah. Keep three think, cubicles, is it? Yeah, yeah. Three, three, three type of cubicle. That means like, you know, uh, like unisex, that kind of cubicle. Oh, ah, so okay. there's one of the doors, there's a ghost there. Yeah. Wow. I huh. think, you, I don't know, nah, I don't. I think YouTube no more that video also. I, I think, I, they never bring back that old uh, Incredible Tale. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah, there's a few. The Incredible Tale, there's a lot of few army story. That, but mm. I know what's the scary one was that the Pulau Tekong one, the three door. I think also mm. uh, those to ever know. Lah, yeah. Mm. Okay, we have a, a a a question here by 
Fernesto Fernesto Freeman oh, Fernesto. Hey, Okay uh, Mention here Does Does dowsing rod Copper Shows the truth sign Of entities When asking them Yeah yeah Definitely um, I, I I think that's One of the uh, The most accurate Forms of Like a device You can use mm. uh, You just have to Have a lot of patience Yeah um, A good friend of mine um, He uses them a lot You know So he doesn't mm. believe In like the K2 meter And all Um Yeah, but he, he he uses these rods and. But is it convenient to bring on site? Yeah, I, I mean because you, you can fold them, you know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, you can extend them, and yeah, mm. it's it's uh pretty legit. Yeah, so I I wow. guess you know if you want to go back to to the basics, that on, is the uh, traditional on, way lah. Mm. Um, paranormal investigations, yeah, that's that's something you wow. should look because into. Because he also having. do ghosts also. Oh, this ah. my one of my friends. Fernesto. Yeah. Oh. Fernesto. Fernesto. Yeah. Yes. Well, we we would love to have him on the show, man. Yeah, one yeah. day, one day. Yeah, but he's not? shy, lah. He's shy, <laughs> shy. Yeah. Gonna, <laughs> me, me, and Noel will take care of you. Okay? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, uh, Ahish Pandi again. Uh, okay, we have a uh, we have. Wait, uh, from Calvin Ka- Singh. Sorry, yes. As I was from Kilo and facing the course, it was dirty, especially for some months. I think referring to the camp, I guess. Yeah, this was. This is Kilo. He's in Tekong. Tekong. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Kilo. Uh, and 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 I've had him on the show before. I've interviewed him for for my podcast. Ah. So it's on Spotify. So if you guys want to listen to his stories, oh. all you have to do is just um go, go search to Spotify. Like, yeah, Spotify or. Yeah. What am I on? Apple Music, yeah. Mm, yeah. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, but I, I do know of mm. a um the rifle range in in Tekong, right? Mm. Yeah. Because I was with the investigation branch for a while. That there is a toilet in uh, the the range. Yeah. I don't know whether it is still now, but I think back then it was where one of the the doors was always locked. Yeah. Yeah, and that's because um a soldier took his life there. Oh, yeah. Oh, scary man. Yeah. Okay, we have a, a. Can we take another question? Sure. Because it's quite a legit question here. Mm. Uh, is it possible to walk through a spirit without you knowing? Will they possess you if you walk through them? By Christopher Redfield. Um, personally, I don't think so. Mm. Um, like if you walk through them, you would definitely feel it because, like, you might feel that energy. Uh, yeah, mm. energy. Like, it might be a little cold. It might be a little warm. It yeah. really depends mm. on what kind of entity there is. One. Yeah, and two, I, the the possession by entities doesn't happen as often as as what movies and all portray. Yeah, yeah. correct. It's not the accurate lah. Like, yeah, in real be, life lah. Like. Because you you are strong, mm. right? So it will happen over a period of time. Un- unless you're really weak and then you're very negative, you're going through like a very horrible time. Then it's a lot yeah. easier. Mm. But we our body itself is equipped to fight them off. Yeah. So I see. so therefore, you know, when you have paranormal activity at home and you don't sort it out asap. Mm. Then it will just progressively, pro- it will just get worse, lah. Correct. Yeah, <laughs> you are trying to say that every everyone have a resistance, uh. Yeah, yeah, we, we all do. That, that like, the, we, we can that fight. We, we can fight these entities, mm. Uh. Mm. Yeah, and then it happens over a period of time. It's not like one day or two days. It's over a period of time. Mm. You get weaker, weaker, and then boom. Weaker in what sense? Physical, spiritual, yeah, mental. All, yeah. Like, like for like, some people, you know, mm. they, they need to understand what. Uh, how do I get weak? Yeah. Mm, mm. Yeah. You so you stop believing in in whatever religion you know because there's so oh, much chaos going on at home. I see. In your life, mm. um, start to be negative. Yeah, and yeah, then you, yeah. you you end up sleeping lesser because there's mm. something in your house, and then your body gets weaker, and then you start losing your appetite. Yeah. So it's it's a long process. Yeah. Mm, wow. Wow. But sorry, I got a question. Mm. Okay, because like for some for spirit, right? Yeah. Okay. Mostly, women will get easily unless they have. Uh, you know, Men, so it, yeah, mens, 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 that kind of thing. They easily to go in, but I don't know whether is it true or not true. Um. Okay. So when I was like full on doing my my show, Ghost Files Singapore, right? Yeah. Uh, any females that come on the show and then they tell me they have their menses, I'll tell them no, it's fine. Just come. Go. Mm. Uh, unless you're you're feeling sick. Yeah. I see. Yeah. Then obviously you know, like you're feeling sick, then you should never mm. mess around with with entities. Mm. But yeah, I always tell them it's fine and mm. nothing happened to them. Yeah. I see. Yeah. Okay. For for our culture. Right, just want to share for yeah, our yes. culture. <laughs> right, uh, men, uh, our Malay culture, or, uh, in our community, uh, the, if a woman who have menses, right, they are not allowed to go to the grave area. Mm. Why though? Okay, uh, I'm not sure about what is the reason behind it. Yeah, 
but this the the main core uh, factor here is that they are at a state of filth. Okay. Right? So when when they are in a state of menses, they are in a state of filth. So it's easier for them to be sweet or be possessed or be whatever. Interesting. By all these entities. Okay. So when you are in a state of cleaning, uh, like uh, cleanliness, like a uh, clean state, a uh, pure state, so it's not easy for this kind of entity to enter you. Ah. Uh, mm. Okay. So I, that is the reason behind it, lah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Okay. I I would respect that. Yeah. 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 Yeah, that is true. Yeah, yes, I was. I forgot. Because that's why sometimes they say when you know. But but again, again, it 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 it, it may applies or it might not apply. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like like for some 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 women, they will they will go. They will still go. Yeah, they yeah. will still go even when they are on menses or not. But it may happen or it may not happen. Goes back to what you believe in, lah. Yes. Hmm. Mister Noel, are you drinking water? Of course. <laughs> are you thirsty? <laughs> Very. <laughs> Yeah, it's a. By the way, we 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 have a scale, uh, all all the way up to like one half hours, ah, uh, coming to like one half yeah. hours. So so we need to wrap this up. Yeah. Do you want to read like just one more? Okay. Yeah. Uh, let's go one more. Okay. Uh, we have from Ahish Pandi, again. Uh, clean tech park, is a dirty place as well. When trekking at the place, and suddenly one place was way. Colder than the rest, and it was pretty eerie. Where's this man? Clean tech. Where is clean tech? By the way, Ahish. Maybe you can uh, ad- uh kindly advise on where is the location. Yeah, I never heard of this place. Yeah, me too. And, and then you can track there. Mm. Hmm. Maybe Bukit Timah area. Maybe like Kenridge Park. I don't know, man. It's like a condo name or something. Mm. Okay. Mm. You want to take one more question? Sure. Okay. Is, is it a question? Or? Yeah, it's a question. Okay, good. Uh, from Daniel Ali. Is it true that for those who let their ne- negativity control them for a long uh, period of time, will the spirit or entities will uh, disturb them? So he's trying to say, is it true that if a, if someone have a lot of negativity, yeah, right, and in a long period of time, all these spirits and entities will disturb? Yeah, of course. You know, mm. because when you're negative, then uh, it's so easy. You make it just so easy for them mm. to disturb you, to feed off your energy because that's what they want, right? Mm. They want um, negative energy. Mm, I yeah. see. Well, I hope it it answer to yeah. I hope so, brother Daniel's uh, inquiries there. Okay. Hmm. Well, well, yeah. well. Yeah. <laughs> it's been quite a a, a a show, man. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's always awesome. It's awesome. Um, yeah. Is there any way for people to follow you on social media, Sharif? Oh, okay. So mm. anyway, uh, you can follow us at uh, ZMB Marketing and Production. Okay, mostly mm. I do uh, blogging. I do product. You can name food. it and also food. Food blog. Uh. Mm. Yeah, food. And also uh, me and my another partner. Uh, yeah. Name Rozaimi. But people call him Aring. Uh, Aring. Yeah, okay. Aring. So me, Mama Sacho, he's Aring. Lah. Yeah, so follow us. Lah. We have, Mama Sacho. Uh, Mama Sacho. Uh, Mama Sacho. <laughs> like, like, share, share, love. It's your boy, Mama Sacho. <laughs> All right. So. <laughs> what up, what up? <laughs> yeah. So you can follow us. Lah, uh, ZMB Marketing Production. Yeah. Or you can follow me, Muhammad Sharif, Muhammad Yusof. Yeah, my full name. Yeah. You can, uh, okay, for ZMB, we got a few uh, social media you can follow us in uh, Instagram mm. you can follow us in WordPress and also we also have in TikTok mm. and also you can follow me in TikTok lah yeah TikTok yeah. yes yeah. TikTok 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 yeah yeah I don't have the app I, it's something I should download soon yeah you you should make one uh, one video of you and Mali okay doing TikTok videos sure yeah okay I would love to see that okay <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. You're just giving me that stare, man. Yeah. Okay. No, I'll think about it. I'll think about All it. All right. Before before we end the show, we always like to ask every of our uh, guests who, yeah. who enter our studio, mm. right? Uh, but how do they feel of the studio, the presence or the the, the energy, right? So we want to ask you tonight. You want to ask me? What do you feel here? Nothing lah. Nothing I just lah. I just yeah. feel comfortable both of you anyway. Thanks for yeah. inviting me. Yeah. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome, man. Yeah. yeah. Anytime, man. Anytime. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, yeah. You know, 
like the first time I met you and I was uh-huh. like, huh, this guy's interesting. And then you told me you got insomnia. I was like, ooh. Yeah, because you're I, walking I, around like oh, at three really? o'clock in the yeah, morning. I couldn't sleep. I got I really got a very bad insomnia. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I hope you get that sorted soon. Like meditate yeah. or something. Yeah. yeah. Cannot already. I do a lot of thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you just eat a lot. Then food come up. Boom, sleep. <laughs> Even I eat a lot, so cannot. So I still cannot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. So, so thank you so much for thank coming you, on the show you, and you, uh, thank sharing you, your experiences. Really appreciate your thank you, time. Thank you. Uh, yeah. At least I know we are both in the same camp. Yeah. 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 Peace, Peace. <laughs> so we carry on this conversation once we get off air. Yeah. Uh, Ramona just bought us free coffee. So hey, thank you, Ramona. Thank you, thank you. Much love to you and your thank sons you. and your husband. Yep. So we will be back again next week. It's Chinese yeah. New Year, but we will be here in the studio. Yes. Yes. Uh, and then the following week, we won't be on air because th- that man's got to do his reservist. Yeah. Okay. Him. He's so happy. <laughs> don't blame me. Okay. Don't blame me. Okay. I have to serve my 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 country. No, I'm yeah. so thankful. I got one <laughs> Friday without you. I'm gonna I'm gonna be live in the comfort of my own home. I don't have to worry about about this fellow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Okay, for for all our viewers and listeners, thank you so much for tuning in to Haunted Hour. We yeah. appreciate your time uh, to join us for our live session here. Yeah, man, and to all those that bought us coffees, thank you so much. And those of you that have shared this video, you know, you helped us reach out to even more people. Mm. And uh, I think that's the beauty about social media. You know, you everybody's doing their part. Yeah, and we hope you we have entertained you. You know, not just for this app with Shari, but also all the other episodes that we've done. Yeah, right. Yeah. And then you can watch it either on Facebook or um, we are even we, uploading we stuff in on YouTube, YouTube. And also for those who want to listen, you can listen in Spotify. Yeah, or Apple Music yeah. or Google Music. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so I'm Noel Boyd. I'm Indra Sahib, and he is. Uh, it's your boy Big Le Shari Mama Sacho. Hi, hi, hi. Yeah. <laughs> signing right. off. Signing off. Signing off. Signing off. Yeah. Have a beautiful weekend, guys. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Like, like, share, share, love, love. Yeah.